Hey guys, Lorraine Art Geek here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing another sketchbook session. Um, in here, we are gonna be doing some line work today. Um, last time we did a session, we kind of just did some pencil doodles here and there. Um, but now in this one, it's specifically going to be line art because I've had these doodles in the sketchbook for about roughly over a month and it's <laughs> and funny enough that was how long ago I've had my last sketchbook session so I am pretty overdue on making this next one so I'm really glad that I am because I've been wanting to line these doodles for a while and I'm really glad I'm able to do it now. Um, however, I will say that the reason why it's been delayed for a while was because um, I wanted to give my like myself some time to kind of relax after I've done what, like four conventions? since the last sketchbook session or maybe it was three i think it was three cons because i did this i did the sketchbook session the first one after holiday cosplay tampa bay so um ever since then i've just been doing the cons um the, th the two in january which were st p comic con and otaku fest and then one for this month which was brick city anime festival all of them have vlogs that I've made throughout each of those cons. If you want to go ahead and check those out in my channel. Um, I have been dabbling more into vlogging ever since the last uh, sketchbook session. So I have been, I've been having a really good time with vlogging just because I can just film whenever I can and I can honestly like be goofy on camera and <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite things now when I go to conventions is sharing my experiences with you guys and also having you guys be in the vlogs I think that's really exciting to me so if you want to check out those vlogs um they are in my channel and I'm gonna be creating a lot more um throughout the year because I kind of have kind of like a semi-full year of cons so far, so just expect a lot more vlogs from me and also a lot more sketchbook videos because I, even though I have been kind of delaying this for um, a month or so, I actually, I genuinely do like making these types of videos and I'm really glad about the reception because I was a little worried about how you guys might react to them but so far a lot of you guys do like it and i plan on doing more especially when i'm working on um other projects that um i'm sharing on instagram and all my other social medias and also something that i unfortunately cannot share right now but it's currently in the works but i am excited to kind of share a little bit more um with the big if if it goes well but i'm pretty confident that it will um like i said i can't really share much of it but hopefully look forward to it <laughs> but i think i mean i'm really excited for what's to come and i really am sorry it's been a delay with these videos um it's just because of the cons and also like just taking the time to kind of relax a little bit too because of how much I've been traveling and it's been kind of overwhelming which is kind of ironic to say and a little hypocritical <laughs> because of this next part I'm going to say um however before I get to that part I kind of want to describe what I'm drawing in this video so She's just a random bunny character. I don't know why I really love drawing like 
bunny characters. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I do have a current character right now. Her name is Slumber Party, and she is a bunny. Um, she has a whole story being planned out, um, and it's not completely fleshed out just yet, but um, she's been a part of my merch for a while, and I absolutely love her, and I really hope that, you know, I'll be able to share more of her because I love her design. I hope you guys do too, but in this particular, like, sketchbook spread for today it's just it's a random bunny girl and i've kind of just had ideas of making like kind of like cutesy bunny girl merch or even like animal girl merch for a while like stickers and keychains um kind of focusing on more original art for my business rather than just um fan art to carry out to carry out the brand but i'll talk more about that later on in the video but what i wanted to say was i'm kind of hypocritical and a little insane because um i know i just said that like i've been exhausted with traveling lately but literally next weekend i'm going to tallahassee um for free con which is as the name suggests it's a free convention in tallahassee it's on or it's at the um, FSU campus, and I'm staying with my friend who lives there, who lives in Tallahassee, and I'm very, very excited. Also, please excuse the fact that there is just a lot of blurriness in this video. I was more so paying attention to me drawing rather than the settings of the camera, so please, please excuse that. Um, but I have a friend in Tallahassee that I'm going to be staying with and I'm going to be hanging out with her as well. I'm really excited to spend my time with her and we're going to have a good time. I'm just, it's funny because I, I just said like, hey, I'm so tired of traveling. But next weekend, I'm going to be doing two hours worth of driving to go to a convention <laughs> in Tallahassee. Which one, I've never been to Tallahassee before. And then two, I've never been to FreeCon before. So super, super kind of stressful. I'm a little bit stressed just because I'm traveling again, but I think it's going to be worth it because getting into the convention was actually relatively cheap. Um, tables were only $50 and you already know if I'm staying with a friend and tables are that cheap, I'm going to take it. <laughs> the only downside is that it's two hours away from me um, and I would have to pay for gas. But other than that, I think it's a trip worth taking why I can't speak. It's a trip worth taking. <laughs> so that's what's going to be happening next weekend. And yes, you guys will be seeing a vlog out of that as well. Since I know that some of you guys may have not even heard of Freecom before, I do not blame you if you haven't. Um, so I'll be making a vlog. It should be very fun. And I can't wait to get that out to you guys when the convention ends. And so speaking of cons and the future of my business, I have mentioned already that I kind of wanted to focus more on doing more like original art for my business, which honestly, like it's never a bad idea at all to do original art. However, most of the stuff I have now is catered towards fan art and like IPs that everyone can at least recognize and that's why I've been making good sales these past few conventions because of that and even though that's not necessarily a bad thing like I obviously want to make the money you know like everyone does I kind of also just want to see like how my original art would sell too because I'm just curious like does my work sell because of my style or is it because it's something that they recognize? And it actually makes my heart happy when people tell me that um, they love my art because they adore my style. And actually, I've had this conversation with a really good friend of mine not too long ago about how I'm just so grateful for 
the fact that people adore my art because of my style and i've just been a little just a tiny bit self-conscious on how people recognize me as the quote-unquote the anime boba girl <laughs> Because if you guys have seen my con vlogs, and especially if you guys have seen me in person, um, a lot of my art has boba in it with the different anime characters on it. And because of that, and I have like a lot of them, people recognize me as such. Um, they recognize that I have boba, and they also recognize that I kind of have a pretty, I don't want to say distinct but more so like a, a more Western style sort of art merged with the Eastern style of, of Japanese animation or anime, you know? I just want to be more technical with that. But pretty much, I think that's why people like it too. And I, I really appreciate that because it kind of just shows that my hard work of developing my style has been, it's been paying off and i am not completely offended not at all i'm not offended at all i don't even know why i said that but i am not offended at the fact that people recognize me as the boba girl with the <laughs> with that distinct style but like i want to eventually be away from that like i want to actually be recognized for my style not 100%, but like obviously more than 50 or like 60, 70% of the time. Um, if people still recognize me as the Boba Girl, no big deal. That's just one of my personal goals for my business. Um, maybe not for this year alone, but like just in the near future, whenever, um, just to kind of develop more original work, and original designs because I know I've seen a lot of businesses and business friendos that have like original art and it's just so pleasing to look at and aesthetic and I love it I love it I love it and I I know that that stuff sells because you know they do business really well and it, I, it that inspired me alone to kind of continue pursuing to do original art for my business and so that's kind of one of my goals is to do more original art which is why I am doing more of these like little doodles of like these bunny girls because at least these bunny girls they are my original designs they're not really from a particular show and that's why I enjoy doing them so this is the finished page i know this was kind of a shorter video but i still hope you guys liked this video and more sketchbook sessions to come and i hope to see you guys in my next vlog which will be free con it'll be free con and then collective con which i did mention but it'll be collective con but i'll see you guys later thank you for watching <laughs>